Hello and welcome back to the Peace Security Channel everybody. Today we'll be doing part two of the uh, two-part uh, test on Total Defense which is a product from CA. In part one we did a prevention test and uh, we saw it was kind of like intermediate. So this is the second part. It seemed to be heavily relying on its uh, toolbar to catch threats which is kind of like web filtering so it'll be interesting to see how it can do with some malware files on the system so first of all I've turned off uh, the real-time protection just so that I can get these files here and now I will show you that this product is fully up-to-date as it was okay let's try this again for some reason it failed. Not this time. So let's give it a moment here. And we have the latest packages. So if you haven't seen the first part I would highly recommend that you go and watch it first. So now we will do the malware scan and let's see how many threats it can detect. Oh, I'm very sorry, I forgot to show you the number of files. Never mind, we have 501 items in here, so let's see what kind of uh, detection ratio CA can manage. The scan's complete and now we can see the results. So it's got quite a few threats and uh, automatically removed them. You can see most of them are like quarantined. So it might have disinfected a few. So let's see, we're left with 295 items here. Now that's a lot. So my premonition was quite correct. Uh, it's not a good detection rate. Let's take a look if uh, we can find any dummy files or anything of that sort that you know might not be. Harmful or anything, any kind of disinfected or renamed files. No, not a lot. So it looks like it's quarantined and deleted most of the threats that it caught. So let's see what kind of detection rate this gives us. That's a 41.1% detection rate. Not good by any means. This is way below average and uh, I would expect a much higher detection rate even though these samples are zero day. Most uh, average security products would get kind of like close to 90 percent, 85 to 90, and that's just average. Most uh, of the good ones will probably get above 90, even above 95. So 41 is uh, terrible. It's just I have nothing to say in favor of total defense here. So I will re-enable their real-time protection. So we'll turn on auto scan and email scan again. All their guards, let's make sure they're turned on. And I also let it uh, delete suspicious files. In spite of that, this detection rate, it's certainly not great. So these are the stock settings. The only setting I had changed was to remove uh, suspicious files here. This one, I just unchecked it. Apart from that, it's all in stock settings. Don't worry about this alert, I'm saying it again. And because this is uh, just a full scan alert, it's telling me to do a full scan, which I don't need to do. So let's try to run some of these and see what defense they've got against zero day 
I mean malware that is not in their signatures. Quite clearly, this one seems to be in. So does this one. I'm not getting any kind of response from uh, Toll Defense. And we are seeing some files running. The detection rate might have been a little bit better than what I gave it, because uh, it might have disinfected some files. But again, I mean, it won't make a big difference. Maybe go from 41 to 45 or 50, and that's not good either. So there's no excuse, really. Hmm, so I'm getting some kind of alert here. It says, uh, I don't really like their alert system. It's kind of like confusing. It's not telling me much here. They don't have any recommendations. But since it says, well, one program has been blocked, then why is it asking me whether or not to allow or block it? Anyway, I'll just block it this time. Now we can see there's some process here, plenty of Fahrenheit Explorer process, although I'm not using them. And uh, we've got some other stuff in here as well. Notepad is open, but there is no Notepad. You can see Windows Explorer is having all sorts of problems. This process obviously doesn't look very friendly got a ton of SVC host process. Uh, let's see what else is obvious. Well nothing else at the moment. So we'll keep running. More files. So this is a firewall alert I guess. I'll block it. We've got plenty of files to try. So it is blocking some things. I'm not exactly sure uh, if it's just the firewall or if they have some other kind of protection or if some of it is being done silently but it's not bad I mean the system's still usable and we've tried quite a few files so they do have some kind of blocking going on There you go, it's uh, blocking this file from writing to explorer.exe. That's nice. But they're not really giving me any kind of recommendation here, which is kind of like confusing because some user might just hit allow. And now we're getting into more trouble because even if I click on block always, it's coming up again and again. So one of these got caught by the signatures, I guess. And quarantine, that's nice. The program does slow down the computer a little bit when it's working. It 
So let's try to let's wait for this last file. And now I will try to remove this folder. I'll reboot first and then I'll delete the folder, run CCleaner and run Hitman Pro and see what it finds. Well, something quite interesting happened off camera, so I'm trying to get it recorded this time. When I logged into my system, I was greeted with this blue screen and then it just rebooted on its own. So let's see if it happens again. Okay, we're in. But is it going to stay that way? I did manage to delete the folder of malware. Let's try to open CA. There's certainly a lot of stuff running around here. But it didn't quite reboot this time, so I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro has come up with a really long list here. We've got tons of stuff embedded in this computer. We've got a worm. We've got um, Trojan. And most of these are set to start up uh, with Windows, as you can see. They may not have their startup items listed, um, you know, in the startup part, but you can see it. They have a registry key that's allowing them to start up each time. So we've got tons of stuff here. We've got so many Trojans and uh, a couple of Riskware. This is malware, again, unclassified, and uh, we've got a worm. So this computer is basically being overwhelmed by malware. So at the moment, it looks like it's a complete failure for total defense. Pretty poor signatures, not pretty, I mean terribly poor signatures, and uh, zero-day component is not responsive. So I think it did prevent some in infections. I mean, it did prevent uh, some infections from totally destroying the operating system. But I mean, there is no way I'm going to install this on anyone's computer. It's just suicide, basically, to pay for a security suite, for a pay for a security suite, and then get infected by hundreds of pieces of malware. It's just a terrible experience. So I do not recommend buying this at the moment. I hope they worked on their stuff because they do have something like application control so I just hope they work on it because at the moment it's it's not working so I hope you guys enjoyed this review not a really bright result but an important review nevertheless so have a nice day and uh, we'll meet again later